Hey there, everybody, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. As always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also, hop over to codekarate.com and make sure to sign up for the newsletter right over here on the left side. We are on episode number 88 of the Daily Dose of Drupal today, and it's going to be a quick one. We're going over the Node Clone module. Generally, what this module can be used for is for... I guess it, it sums it up pretty clearly. It enables you to clone nodes. This can be useful if you have a very complex page and maybe you want to make some changes to it. It's on a live site, but you want to test those changes before you actually change it on the live site. So you can make a clone of, of it, put it in an unpublished status, do all your changes, make sure it looks good, and then copy those changes over. Or if you have a lot of nodes that are going to look the same, you can use that to kind of get a jump start so it cuts down on the amount of work you have to do. Obviously in the in the first situation you could use a development site and push it up through that, but this is kind of just a simple little module that allows you to copy different pieces of content. So if you have nodes and you want them to copy, not everything works as you'll notice there's a little warning. If you have a really complex node type you may not, it may not clone completely cleanly, however in most cases it will. So it can be a helpful little module if you just need to copy an existing node and then make changes to it. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. I already have the node clone module downloaded and it is installed. You can see I'm using the 7.x-1.0-rc1 version. We're going to start by going to the configuration page. It gives you a couple different options here. You can either have it pre-populate pre the node form fields so it doesn't actually create the node when you click the link, or you can have it actually go ahead and create the new node right away and then allow you to edit it. And we'll go over both those. You can, or you can tell it if you need a confirmation when it creates a new node. You can have it clone the menu links. You can set reset publishing options for specific content types and you can also set which content types should not be cloned. So if you have a content type that you know won't work with this node clone module, you can omit certain content types here. So I'm going to leave it at its default and I'm going to come over to an article here. This is just an article content type with a couple different fields, has a five star rating, has two other fields on it, one of them's hidden right now. But what I can do is I can click this link that says clone content. So right now it creates a node add form basically that gives me all of this content it does add clone of at the beginning it does load in the different fields so the status field had none it does have the boolean test checkbox checked the toggle test box is set correctly so I ca it is not actually saved to the database yet until I hit save so once I hit save now it's saved to the database and now you can see this is the clone of so I can go ahead and of course change things and make it a completely different copy so it's not the same as the original as you can see if I open up the original here it looks different doesn't have the extra fields showing but it allows me to quickly and easily make a copy and then I can make changes to this of course if I wanted to not allow other people to see the changes I was making, I can of course unpublish it. And now it's not going to show up on my list of articles, but I, I can use it as a testing to see how an article would look after I copied it, or of course just make changes or make another article based off that original one. We're going to go ahead and check out the other configuration options just real briefly. and you can see we can have it save as a new node and then have it edit so in this case we'll also want a confirmation so I have this set as require confirmation now that I save this I'm going to go back and I'm going to clone this test article too I'll click clone content it's going to say that it's creating a new node and I'll be re redirected to the edit page I click node or clone it clones that node. It says clone of test article 2. This now is saved to the, the actual database itself. 
because you can see it it's on the node 7 edit page so it has actually already created the node in this case so even if I close out of this and I come back there's clone of test article 2 which is exactly the same as test article 2 besides the fact that the title is a little different it didn't copy over any menu items or anything like that so it's an extremely simple module but it does serve a purpose on some sites it's not going to be something you use every day but it is something to have in your development toolkit and we'll be back again next time with another episode of the daily dose of Drupal thanks for watching